Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today I want to go in depth and talk about Sprint, Slide, and Clamber in Halo Infinite, and how I feel about them. And maybe talk a bit about melee since I think they all go hand in hand with each other. So with that being said, let's begin. So let's start with the melee. All in all, I don't really have an issue with it. So far it seems to have the god range of Halo 5 that everyone seems to mention, but I think the magnetism of the melee feels a lot less compared to Halo 5. I feel like I am missing a couple of my melees here and there, but there could that could be the fact that uh, there is no player collision. Which I think we need player collision considering that uh, what I just said and some creative things are lost without player collision, such as boost jumping. Maybe the melee's range could be decreased, but not too drastic. I'm talking like 20 millimeters or something. Especially since I think we should really try it against real players next time. Next, let's talk about sprint. A heated topic that has plagued Halo for years now. So far from what I've played in the first flight, it seems fine and it seems negligible. Someone in the community did the math and according to that person, the difference between base movement speed and sprint speed is around 8 point something percent. Which is probably the slowest sprint speed we've had in the series. So it really begs the question if it's really worth having in the first place. It's like Sprint, Slide, and Clamber are only here at this point just to please the people who like those mechanics and for those out people outside the Halo community. I could make the argument where we might as well turn off Sprint and just increase the base movement speed by 10%, which would be more than the Sprint speed itself, and call it a day. But I also could see people make the argument saying, well, at the point of Sprint is to slide, and it's like, okay, how much merit does that hold? Because to me, sliding is whatever and it's just cool to do. Then later during the flight, uh, during the first flight, started uh, people started finding techniques utilizing the slide. And I was like, okay, maybe we should keep the sprint and see how this sliding meta evolves. Because remember, we do have the, uh, the ability tracker in our kit, so maybe it won't be too crazy. But of course, we'll see what happens uh, in the next flight. Next, I want to give my thoughts on Clamber. Something I already like and is that you don't need to clamber every single goddamn ledge you see. Because Jesus Christ, Halo 5 was, was such a clamber fast and, uh, and there was just too many places to clamber. And I know people are going to tell me to get good and learn to spring jump. Fuck off, okay? I do my best to crouch jump and find other means to get around maps in Halo 5. Sorry for the mini rant there. One thing I don't uh, like about clamber is that it feels inconsistent and I think I know why. I think it's because you now have to hold forward on a ledge and then clamber to climb over. I think maybe the input for clamber should revert back to just pressing the A button. It was consistent and easy to do. Also a side note, I'm not sure if crouching and then clambering extends your clamber height anymore. I tried testing this and I wasn't sure if that technique was removed or not at all. But anyways, that's all I have to say about clamber. Alright guys, so those are my quick thoughts on Halo Infinite's overall movement and melee. Like I said, I'd probably, I'd probably prefer removing Sprint and just increase the base movement speed by 10%. But I am willing to keep Sprint just to see how the sliding meta evolves. Who knows, maybe some longtime pros could try no Sprint in their competitive settings and there wouldn't be a need for a radar either because there shouldn't be a radar in competitive settings in the first place anyways. But that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you agree with what I had to say, leave a like and share this video around with anyone who's hyped for Halo Infinite. So until next time, peace.